Okay, are you guys ready? Because I think they're ready to go. We're going to do a five count. Is everybody ready to go? Okay, let's do it for them. Five, four, three, two, one. Caribbean food delights here at the Maritone Family Festival with the beautiful people. We've got Dan Killer Kennedy here, Mr. Andrew Deadpool. We got Miss Schmurmer herself. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, we're just hanging out for the contest. There is the Jamaican patty, which is like a Jamaican patty. Also, kind of like a I don't know, like a hot pocket in a way. But anyway, kind of like a hot pocket. Or like a pasty, says Molly. I don't even know Clean what that tablecloth. Is. What's that? Seven patties. Quickest to finish. They got seven patties on every plate up here. They got their second stomach open for business. And everybody's ready to go. Let's go ahead and run down the line again. We got Taylor Denton from Queens. Jimmy Pericato from right here. <laughs> Molly Skyler, number one competitive of the year, female competitive of the year in the world. Dan Killer Kennedy, Joe the Sexy Canadian, and Andy Snacks Pool, ready to do it again. Yeah, Dan. Okay, are you guys ready? Because I think they're ready to go. We're going to do a five count. Is everybody ready to go? Okay, let's do it for them. Five, four, three, two, one.
looking forward to seeing them again. And until next time, happy eating. Well, before I go, so I got third in both the contests, so the, uh, the patty and butter cheese. I'll tell you a little bit more when it's quieter. Two hours later. So we're in this restaurant called the Wohop. It's like a Chinese restaurant. Very, very popular with a lot of the locals, I guess. I guess it's just the place to come. So we're starting some food. Hot and sour soup, crispy noodles. What's very unique about this place is you'll like literally, it's they, they fill up every seat. So you'll have to like sit at the same table with people who you're not with. So it's pretty unique. It's definitely a uh, city can crowded spot. Thank you so much. Two thousand years later. Hey everyone, so I was busing back to Canada. Yeah, I took a bus down New York this time for this trip. And we stopped at a stop at like 4 a.m. So I figured I would get some Dunkin' Donuts because they had some Dunkin' Donuts in the like little truck stop or whatever it is, rest stop. So I decided to try two donuts. I tried the Hershey's Cookies and Cream Donut, which I believe was a special edition. It was notified as like a special donut. Um, and I will mention that I think this is, it's either the first or second time I've ever had Dunkin' Donuts. So I know this was at 4 a.m. So I gotta be a little leaning because I don't know if they were that great. So the donut itself tasted pretty good. The icing wasn't bad and the cookies and cream on top, although they seemed very, very moist, like almost stale moist, um, they didn't taste bad. There was a cream on the inside which was super duper duper sweet, like the sweetest cream I've ever seen in a donut. But what really brought this donut down was just the donut itself was just very dry and just kind of tasted like cardboard. It didn't have much of like a flavor to it, um, but again, these were from a truck stop at 4 a.m., so I'm sure the regular Dunkin' Donuts would be better. I then actually tried, for sure, my first ever strawberry donut. I've never actually seen strawberry donuts in like normal chains in Canada, so this is the first time I've really seen. I guess the only real donuts chains in Canada are, well, for the majority, Tim Hortons. A few Krispy Kremes. But anyway, tried this strawberry donut. Um, and it was pretty good. Again, I liked the icing, the icing and the flavoring was good, but I had the same issue with that donut. It was just kind of very dry, it seemed old, but again, it was 4 a.m., so I'm not actually taking this, you know, as too serious of a review. Um, and again, kind of that donut just tasted kind of like cardboard. Like, there was no real sweetness to the donut itself, like the actual dough, and it just kind of seemed a little bland. But, finished it off, it was a nice little snack at 4 a.m. Um, definitely need to try Dunkin Donuts again when it's not 4 a.m. to give better judgment. Look at this guy! Look at this beautiful looking MC here today. I like it. The shirts are coming off on stage. Oh, come on, don't be scared. Whoa! I came in like a hurricane. Chinese McDonald's, that's pretty cool. We're uh, on the edge of Chinatown here. Keep that energy level going. We're about to bring up the next set. We got the patties coming up. Brings on the food. Um, Matt, Matt, the winner from the bun and cheese that ate all those, well, eight sandwiches in, in what was the time? One minute, 26 seconds. One minute, 26 seconds. He ate eight bun and cheese sandwiches and he's entered the party. Woo! Again? He's got, he's got two stomachs. 
For real. They open up the second stomach, they're ready to go. Do your pee mat. Do your pee mat. <laughs> okay. Everybody ready? Okay. Clean tablecloth. What's that? Seven patties. Quickest to finish. They got seven patties on every plate up here. They got their second stomach open for business. 